Hey guys, Jay here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to code a simple web scraper in PHP. I was looking at my YouTube analytics and noticed that one of the top search terms pointing to my videos was PHP web scraping. So here we go. This video assumes that you have a basic understanding of programming concepts and how to use PHP to generate a web page. If you know how to use PHP, you probably have access to a WAMP or LAMP server. If not, you can check out my video on installing WAMP on Windows 10 linked in the video description. As with all web scraping, you need to have a pretty good understanding of HTML. I'll explain it as we go, but in a way, web scraping involves reverse engineering a web page, so understanding HTML will be very helpful. Let's go ahead and hop into the code. The first thing you will need to do is download the scraping library that we will be using. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the PHP Simple HTML DOM parser. I'm sure there are many other scraping libraries available, but this is the one that I have experience with. I will also throw a disclaimer out there to not scrape maliciously. Don't web scrape to steal data or copy another website. Go to simplehtmldom.sourceforge.net and click on the download latest version from SourceForge. And click the download button, then your download will begin, don't let the ads trick you into clicking them. Right click the download and view in folder, then unzip or extract all the files. If you open up the folder, you can see that the PHP library is installed, along with all the documentation and a few examples. Let's copy and paste the PHP file into our project folder and create a new PHP script. At the top of our script, we will need to include a reference to the simple HTML DOM parser library. This will give us access to all the functions inside the file. To do this, type include simple HTML DOM.php. We'll create a DOM object by creating a variable called HTML and assigning it a value of file underscore get underscore HTML. This will call the file get HTML function, which is a part of the library we are using. The function gets all the HTML from the URL that we pass it and returns a DOM object, which is now stored in the HTML variable. For simplicity's sake, let's just get the title of the page. Type HTML find title, and this will return an array of title elements from the HTML DOM object. We can pass in an optional parameter if we only want to get a specific element from this array. Since an HTML page should only really have one title element, we will pass in a zero to get the zeroth element. Since we are programming, of course, we start counting at zero, so this returns the first title element on the page. Let's echo this out to our web page by typing echo, and then we will add plain text to the end because we only want to print out the text inside the title element, not the opening and closing title tags. Now we can save this file and start up our WAMP server. If we view this file on our web server, we will see that it prints out the title of the page from the URL we visited. We can even change this by passing a different URL and reloading the page. Now that you know how to scrape a single element, let's do something a little bit more complicated scraping a list of elements. I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites, w3schools.com. If you've never heard of this website, you've been missing out, but you have heard of it now. They have a ton of great documentation on anything and everything web related. There are a few lists we could scrape. There's the navigation bar, and then there's a few lists on the sidebar. Since there's less content on the nav bar, I'll choose that for simplicity. When we view the page source, we see that there's a ton of CSS at the top followed by some JavaScript, and then once we scroll past the JavaScript, we see all the HTML elements. It appears that this is our nav, and we can look back at the page just to make sure. Then below that, we have our sidebars, and below that, the content of the page. I want to point out how readable this HTML is, and that's part of the reason why I picked this site. It's not all jumbled up. It's pretty easy to read. Let's scroll back up to the code for the nav, and we will see that each of the nav links is a child of this div element. Usually this would be a UL or unordered list, but I'll give W3Schools a pass on this one. Let's copy the URL of the page and then hop back over to the code. Paste the URL in the file underscore get underscore HTML function, and then our scraping code will be beneath this. When we're scraping, the first thing we want to do is to find this div element, which is the parent of all of our list items, and we want to find this in the HTML DOM object. Since there are a ton of divs on the page, we also need something else to identify this particular div. And we can do that by using its class attribute. Type list equals HTML, and we want to find all the divs with the class of w3-bar, w3-left. And we only want to find the first element that meets these parameters, because that's our nav. Now we will loop through each of the element's children and echo each element to our web page. We can use either a for or a for each loop, and I will show you both ways. 
The first thing we need to do is to get all the anchor elements that are children of our list and save them in an array called list underscore array. We want to start our iterator at zero and then loop until our iterator equals the number of items in the array. The iterator will increase by one for each loop, just a normal for loop. Each time the loop runs, we will output that element and we will add a line break. The for each method is pretty similar. We will get each anchor element from our list and output it, followed by a line break. We can also output the data in a way that shows us what is actually happening by printing out parts of the element instead of the whole element itself, because when we, when we print out the whole element itself, it includes the opening anchor tags, the closing anchor tags, any of the classes, any of that stuff. But if we only want to get the plain text from the element, we can echo the element's plain text, and we can also echo the element's hyperlink reference. And that's what this looks like. If we wanted to get a different element from the page, we could just change the title to div, anchor, unordered list, ordered list, or list item, just whatever element we want to find. We, it could be a paragraph, it could be a header. You can even use the find method on a DOM object returned by the find method, so you can pull child elements or child elements of child elements. It can be very customizable. Now, I don't want to get too in-depth in this video because it's really just an introduction, but I highly recommend that you read over the documentation. The documentation is actually surprisingly good. I'll be making more videos on PHP and web scraping in the future, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when I upload those videos. If you found the video informative, give the video a like so that more people will see it. And if you found the video unclear or confusing in any way, leave me a comment down in the comment section so I'll know what to do better in the future. As always, have a great day. I'm out.